Oh, the Asian guy's least attractive. This guy doesn't shower every day. You seem nervous around a bunch of attractive girls. This guy's ruining the vibe right now. I want to rank these five men by their attractiveness. I already know. <laughs> That's my ranking. One, two, three, four, five. This guy is tall, dark, and handsome. He's got nice curly hair. Chicks love that. This guy, between these two guys, this guy has better posture. They both have good smiles. This guy uh, is just better looking than these two. This guy looks kind of like a little, a little loopy. And this guy, I don't know about the outfit. It, you just, you have to be, if you're like trying to attract a vast amount of women, that would be the order. I don't know if this look is attractive for the common woman. I think it's like one, two, three, four, and five. In terms of volume of woman attracted. A group of women will start ranking the men's attractiveness. Only by physical appearance. Yep. Tall, nice hair, dark, tall, dark, and handsome. See, they want the dark, see? It's kind of crazy because I feel like in other countries, the whiter you are, the more attractive you are. But like in Asian culture, like the white white skin is more attractive than dark. But in America, it's like the opposite. Like if you're tall, dark, and handsome, then like you've won. Oh, the Asian guy's least attractive. Less attractive. He's so cute. This is hard because I feel like Andros is so sweet. Like I just want to protect him. Like he looks like a- Ah, see, Asian guys are must protect. This guy doesn't shower every day. Isn't it crazy that guys, girls don't like being objectified by guys, but guys love being objectified by girls. He seemed like he was very nervous. That nervous energy was a little bit off-putting, so that energy- You seem nervous around a bunch of attractive girls. It's like the first movie I ever saw with my dad. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, Drive. That's also a good movie. That's a good one. Okay. I'm gonna be that person. What's your Zodiac sign? I'm gonna be that person. She knows. Okay. Team Libra. Are you just asking for sun? Or like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See? Yeah, he cooked. He did cook. The Asian guy. Let's go. When's the last time you cried? He's like, I don't cry. Me think about it. Oh, she went in. She went in. She said group hug, and it was the only one that went. Okay, what's your um, what's your body count? Oh, okay. Oh wow, she came with the questions. She knows the questions. And I lost track. He's like, shit. What what was your reaction when you didn't want to think of everyone as a number? Uh, I would like to ask you when the last time you got tested for anything was. Me? Yeah, just out of safety, dude. Like, keep track. March. March. Okay, there you go. I'm just saying, that's what I thought. I was like, what the heck? No, no, sorry. It's, no, people are people and not just numbers. This guy is... I was just, I'm just saying, like... Right, this guy is ruining the vibe right now. Keep track in my head, because I forget things all the time. Yeah, yeah he's... Dramatic for me. Yeah, that was, was coming from the quiet guy, so was he was confusing. making it heavy. I'm kind of with that. You yeah. I mean, I think the delivery kind of came out a little harsh. I didn't mean to impart any judgment upon him for that at all. I was just thinking like, um, it's like, oh well. I mean, yeah, dude. Everyone here thinks women are people. Like, I think that's we all agree. Like, no, they're not just numbers. They're not like. He's mad because he went first and had to put to put a number down. Yeah, sorry. This guy's mad because he said a number and these guys didn't have to. Oh, oh, okay. Um, you don't have to say it. No, I don't really care. It's, it's, I don't care. Uh, it's like 27, 28. Okay. Um, who pays on the first date? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would, honestly. Who makes more money? 
I think it, it sometimes depends on who invited who, but most of the time it's like in a heterosexual setting, it's like the guy inviting the girl. So. With Andros, I felt like he had direction in his life. Hey, she likes him. I think everyone should be prepared to pay the full thing, and then you fight over the bill, and then just let the guy take it. I think both parties should come expecting to pay for both, for everyone. And then that's like the best mindset you can have. I I'll take it. Yeah, like just offer. Like why even go on a date if you can't even pay for both people? And that goes for the girl too. Like why go on a date that you can't pay for? So if it's out of your league, then just tell them like, oh, suggest something else, something like more light or cheap. Don't say cheap, but like lighthearted, less serious, you know, like they're not going to take you to the fi like a five star restaurant on the first date. So just go somewhere like casual and then like you go to Raising Cane's or something and then it's cool. Like you can pay for both meals if everything falls to shit. It's fine, you know, but at least both sides offer and then we're cool. What do you feel like is something that you struggle with the most that you're like working towards that has prevented you from like healthy relationships? I think for me, I tend to dedicate a lot of time at work. And so sometimes I think my ex would say that I neglect them or I don't spend enough time with them. And as That's I a classic I Sigma grind set thing though. relationship actually really helps with your ambitions. You're an Aries. I'm an Aries, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, of course, you fucking Aries. But that's like, I feel like most guys on their Sigma male grind set that are like hustling to do something. Like I was told this before too, where like my exes and even my fiance is like, oh, you get carried away with your work, with the things that you do. I feel like people who are guys who are really grinding, that's like a good thing. You can always tone it down, but you can't, it's harder to get a guy to work harder than it is to get a guy to like tone it down, which I guess that's debatable, but working harder is like not a bad thing most guys that are neglecting is like most of the time there's just like doing work if you're really but if you're if you're neglecting them for someone else and you're pretty much just like doing what this guy did which is like kind of cheating making your girl feel uncomfortable see look at this look at this this guy when i was young i was like kind of dumb i didn't realize talking and doing stuff with other girls was as bad as it like could be you know i didn't cheat or anything that's funny i saw your face but i was just like just like you know like yeah my rule is if you're dating, if you're dating someone, there are no other girls. There's, there are no other girls. And all right. Do you guys think guys and girls can have platonic relationships, friendships at a very deep level? That's what it comes down to. And this guy thinks yes. Some girls think no. But the safe answer is when you're dating someone, you're married, you're engaged. There are no other girls. That's the best answer. That's the safest answer. Individually rank them, okay? Asian, see, this guy, he has direction. And um, his job, definitely someone I'd actually be interested in getting to know outside of this. And really didn't agree with a lot of his views on stuff, which is fine, like, you do you, it's just not for me. And then, like, mildly uncomfortable, which is nothing against him. Yeah, I think the stuff he put out was really heavy. West and Nick just put out really heavy stuff. Um, the war in Africa and how African nation built each other and the um, oh, wow. U.S. forced to help save them. Um, oh, I love my best friend this year, so it's a little bit hard for me. No, no, sorry. It's no people are people and not just numbers. This guy is understand like your it's first impression. Just leave a good vibe, you know, it's all good. Like that's why this guy is up there for her, because he's like he's chill. You know, and this guy is like this guy's determined, this guy's chill, this guy I don't he's nothing really going for him, he's too serious. This guy at least looks good. And this guy uh, like looks pretty good, but brought brought everything down. It's crazy because this guy, West, looks better than Nick just off like appearance, but he brought the vibe down so much for this for everyone and and Nick too. But look how look what it did. He's below Nick and even Kai now. You know, um, yeah, it was way too controversial for first impression. Like first impressions matter a lot. Sense of stability, so it's giving yeah. me more daddy vibes, and I really more daddy um, vibes. Number two, it's because 
It just sounds fun and my vibe, so I think we would get along. And number five, it was the exact opposite of why I chose the first one. Yeah, Kai was very controversial. This one, uh, this, because... He's a safe answer. He's very controversial. Both of them look great. And then everyone else, heavy, heavy, lighthearted vibe. Boosted him a lot in attractiveness for the girls. Oh, he's last. He's last because he brought down the vibe so much on first impressions. First impressions matter. You don't bring down the vibe. Kai, you're too controversial. Guys that know they look good and he's just, he's not cocky, but he knows it. He knows what he's working with. See, this is how much, this is how much just being chill and lighthearted can get you. Like he is definitely not as attractive as these guys or even this guy, but he jumped up just by being cool. Just be cool. Exactly. First, Andros at 24 points. 24. What? Yeah, that's a lot. Give me my top Ooh. Right here. Thank you. <laughs> is he at the top for everyone except for one of the girls who put him at second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 25 is the highest you can get. <laughs> what? He was top two. There's no why, but okay. Thank you. That's very fine. <laughs> like, yeah. Whoa, see, physical appearance. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Oh, they rank them by attractiveness. I think we should put her one, and we put Ginger's two. All right. Go, go, go. Keep going, keep going, go. There we go. Yeah, perfect. I think they were oh, dang, they got another one coming out. And you know what that means. That means we got another one coming out. Let's go. 